Welcome back to the channel everyone. Right, I'm back in the motherland. It's about 10 to 6 and uh, I'm going searching for a sunrise. Now, the sun's in the wrong direction, the tide's out, so I don't know what we're going to find. I've got a couple of ideas. One is for a drone shot looking out towards where I, I come from, which is Millham, with the lighthouse in the foreground and another one is looking straight down the estuary. Don't know what I'm going to be able to do with the D810 today because there's absolutely no cloud at all. But look at that sky. It's magical. I woke up at about 20 past five and uh, I thought, oh, it's not cloud. Can I, be, uh, can I be bothered? But I remember watching a video and someone said, you never remember the two hours that you spent extra in bed but you will remember getting up and taking some photographs. So I've come down here. I need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Sunrise is in about 40 minutes. So it's just about in the blue hour now. It's beautiful. You can hear all the birds. They're all waking up for the day. So onwards and upwards down to the beach. See what we can find. whispering i found a, a little composition here that i have taken before to be honest but not from this 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 angle that i'm at now and uh i'll let you have a little look what do you think it's basically the lighthouse and black coom i've ignored all these bushes you can see on the back of the camera let's just get rid of that and so you've got the yellow gorse which i think is like really nice and i'm hoping there's going to be a little light cast onto that onto the lighthouse and uh Hopefully, I'm praying, I'm going to get a little bit of light that's going to come through and hit this. It should do, it should do. Looking at Ephesus, I think it's called, is the app that I use. But I've had to put the, uh, I've had to put the big lens on because I can't get rid of these bushes. It needs to be about 75 mil this. The problem is at 75 mil, I can't quite get the end of where the gorse is. So it's going to be a two shot panel, I think, that I'm just going to merge together. But um, it's so still beautiful down here I really miss I really miss this place I'd love to come more often but what can you do so anyway I've got a 0.9 soft grad on this as well I'm shooting an ISO 64 f10 it's giving me about 1.6 second exposure at the moment but as the Sun comes up obviously that's gonna that's gonna reduce so we'll wait and see it's gonna be a short short of speed time as we go through this which is a shame I might end up putting the six stop uh, filter on this to try and really smooth that water out but we'll see onwards and upwards as they say now and I just walked a bit further down it's all the nature reserve this it was all what mine workings at one point that flooded you can see that's the old sea wall that was blocking the sea out there and the new one's been built around it beautiful down here absolutely beautiful so I found a minimalist composition now and I, I love this I love this sort of photography and the bonus is I've managed to get the 15 stop filter out <laughs> so it's about two and a half minutes it's ticking away now, so I have to talk quick because I'm going to turn it off. But it's a bit of it. Put my tongue back in. It's basically just a log in the water. Well, it's a tree actually. It's died, and it's just so simple. And I wanted to take this picture for ages, 
and I've not been able to. So now <laughs> I've managed to come down and get it. So I'm hoping it's good. And if it is, I'll put it up for you now. But this video is going to be shot over the course of a weekend. So I'm going to be going through different locations and stuff like that. And I think for now, I've probably done all I can down here because the light's getting a bit harsher. So I think for now, I'm going to leave it. The next time you see me, I'll be somewhere else. Well, another morning, another sunrise. It's a bit more promising today. Got a little bit of cloud that's above above the range. Come down to the old pier this morning to try and get possibly a long exposure shot across the estuary. But tide's on the turn. It's uh, it's a later tide for low tide today. But um, it's probably going to drain quite quickly. I would think it moves fast here the tide. So I'm not sure if by the time the sun's up whether or not there'd be any water left in it. <laughs> but I found a little composition I'll show you. So basically that's the view there. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got this bit of seaweed on a rock here that I'm using as a bit of foreground interest. And then that's going to be the backdrop. The sun's going to come up from over from over here. What a magical morning. A bit more cloud than there was uh, than there was yesterday. So I'm hoping maybe get a bit more excitement and definition in the sky but time will tell. Anyway, I'm going to rattle off a few shots because I think we're sort of still in blue hour really at the moment. So I'll rattle a few shots off and I'll stick them up now if any good. So the sun is coming up now. What is that? The sun's coming up. Coming up over there today. I thought it was going to be a little bit further round, but obviously not. So, casting some nice light on the clouds in the background. I've uh, struggled a little bit this morning, if I'm being honest. I thought uh, it'd be quite easy to find a composition down here, but it's not. It's not, not easy. So, I've gone for something quite minimalist. There's a rock with some seaweed in the middle. So, I've had a few goes at some various rocks, but with the tide going out, Obviously the, the rocks are no longer in the water, so I have to keep moving. <laughs> but what a magical morning down here, you can probably hear the birds. It's, uh, they're all waking up again for the day. Absolutely magnificent down here, absolutely magnificent. So let me flick you around and have a little look at the composition. So this is my uh, point of interest, <laughs> this uh, nicely covered seaweed rock and then that is the backdrop in the distance which is quite nice i'm going to keep playing with the um with the settings on this because as the sun's coming up obviously the light's getting brighter so black fumes looking nice as well um so effectively at the moment it's a five second exposure in f16 i've gone for f16 because i want to try and get i don't want to focus that this one. if i can avoid it i'm probably gonna to have to do two exposures but um i've an f16 ISO 64 and it's giving me about five seconds that which is just uh, it's just nice because it's just enough just to smooth off what little ripples there are in the water so there's another shot I think there that's got the uh, like the ripples in the sand which I think might be quite a nice leading line so we'll see I'll have a, movie, have a go at that in a few minutes I'm gonna rattle a few more of these off as the lights changing I'm hoping it's just gonna cast a bit of a red glow on these clouds it's starting and trying but I think that maybe tomorrow is gonna to be the best day for, for sun sunrise because it is saying that we're gonna get a little bit of high cloud medium cloud on there uh, the app better use so fingers crossed when you look around there's just shots everywhere here <laughs> it's just a photographer's paradise but that's why it's the best kept secret in the lakes because not many come or those that do always come back so anyway enough rambling enough rambling at half past six in the morning i'm gonna rattle a few more shots off and then uh, we'll see where we go
sun's up, birds are singing. <laughs> Yet again, it wasn't it wasn't a magnificent sunrise. I'm hoping tomorrow's gonna to be better. So this is the second one in the bang. Just the third five o'clock get up tomorrow. So we'll see. I'm gonna try some um I'm gonna try some long exposures down here, but for now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna try and do a sunset tonight. So I've been talking to my dad. He's been giving me some inspiration as to where we may we may go. So hopefully the problem we've got is that if it stays like this, which it's forecast here and you can see, there's just absolutely no cloud at all. It's just perfect and blue. Which isn't so bad if the tide was in i think it comes in this afternoon there might be some opportunity for some really nice long exposure sort of a, a tilio rufo sort of style which might look quite nice so whether i can get a pass to get out in the afternoon as well as the morning and the evening <laughs> i'll have to speak nicely to my other half and uh, and the children but we'll see so for now if i take any more pictures between now and uh, this evening I'll throw them up. I went out yesterday actually, I went to the observation tower uh, near Millen, which I had not been to before and I'm hoping that there's a panel that I can put up now that I took from there but a problem, when you've got a, a, an eight and a six year old trying them to get to stand still on a, on a, on a deck that's, that, that's shaking, <laughs> you rattle off a 12 shot panel, is not, is not the easiest so if it's come out I'll put it up now, if it hasn't then what will be will be as they say but it looks all right in camera but you can never tell till you merge it together so what a magical morning magical morning anyway for now i'm gonna go and i'll sign off and i'll see you tonight be honest I'm starting to feel this now I'm starting to feel it oh. wow beautiful down here absolutely beautiful when I had the drone up yesterday these oyster catchers decided that they were going to take on the drone <laughs> they just died bombing and taking the drone on I didn't think I was going to get it back as you can see you can't see the mountains the cloud is too low now my app changed last night it said it was going to be very very light wispy cloud and that it should be fine all day yesterday and it got to about nine o'clock and decided it would completely change its mind and say that you're going to get that low cloud there which to be fair to it absolutely bang on but it's not going to help me this morning sun's up in about 15 minutes my idea is and it needs to be clear along along here is to do a, maybe a 12 shot panel long exposure so the estuary will look absolutely like a mill pond and you'll have the mountains crisp in the back so it might even look like the mountains are sort of floating on it it's not easy and you've got to get the conditions of which I have not got this morning <laughs> I've got one more try, one more try, one more chance tomorrow so we'll see I'm going to set up, you never know, I might, something, might, something, might, uh, something might happen but I'm not holding out much for. So anyway, I will put you back on as and when the uh, the sun burns all that cloud off 
and I'm ready to rattle off this this 12 shot pan out. saying it's it, 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 it's it's a bit of cloud but nothing like this so we have to move over to plan b which we need to think of <laughs> so i'll see you on location in the next spot but i'll be back here to get this shot at some point it's a cracking shot if i can get it but it's just not going to be today so here you go fourth sunrise on the bang second failure i think second failure Anyway, onwards and upwards, on to the next spot. I just got back in the car and I'm looking out now towards where the Lake District Range is. And the wind's so strong it's blowing this cloud through. So I'm a quandary now. I don't know whether I sit here and gamble and wait and see if it does blow through or if I go to this other shot that I can take which is near there's a local beach nearby and there's a nice shot that I can take there but I need the tiding and the tide's on the turn and it's going to be going through quick it wasn't a very high tide last night it was only about six and a half meters that's why you can see the sandbank in the estuary so I'm just trying to work out in my own mind do I gamble and stay here and hope it blows through and then get a shot or do I say no this is once for another day and go to this other place decisions <laughs> yeah it's a tough one this it's a tough one because there is some lovely uh, sort of like cloudy areas on these mountains but I just I don't think it's gonna work right decision made this one's for another day oh that's clear there oh I don't know I just don't know. I just don't know. Might give it five minutes. Just see what happens in five minutes. And see where we go. Okay. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to chance my arm. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to chance my arm. I'll show you this, what I'm looking at. You see, that looks like rain here. But the mountains are coming into view. It's brightening up over here. The app's saying this blows through. So it's, do you trust it and stick around? Oh, the decisions. And then, it, and then the cloud comes and blocks the mountains again. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Now, we've come, we've come for this shot. This is the shot we've come for. This is, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to set the camera up. The other problem you've got is that this wind is so strong and I'm not sure. We long exposure even if it's going to be sharp because it's going to be... I'm going to be on 200mm zoom. It's going to be the full zoom. How am I going to keep the tripod steady? <sighs> I tell you what, it's absolutely freezing, but... The sun has, I tell you what, this app, this clear outside app is absolutely incredible. I'll try and keep out the wind. It's it's cleared. It's a four minute exposure with a 15 stop filter. So I'm rattling one off now just to see what that's going to look like. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to do like the 12, 12 shot panel that I was thinking of doing. Might just have to do a couple of shots straight down the estuary, but look at that. It's, uh, it's playing ball, so we will see. I'll set the camera down, I'll show you, what, show you how it's set up. So the camera's down as low as I can get it on the tripod without having to take the arm off. I've got the 15 stop on the front. Timer's plugged in. That's what it's taking. I'm hoping it's just, it, 
it's snowing. Would you believe it's snowing? I'm hoping water's going to be completely smooth, light in the background, the mountains lit up with the sun that's come through. You can see the front here looks more through. The sky's amazing. Let's see what we get. Fingers crossed. about three shots into this now and I've got a problem. See the sand? Tides against me here. It moves so fast here. It moves so fast. It's uh, got the light. The light's getting better and better every minute but the tide's against me so I, I can't really put the camera any lower. So I'm just going to have to take what, take what I'm given and hopefully it'll look all right. The light keeps changing on the mountains which it's nice, but a long exposure, it's not, you're not getting that definition that you'd get if you just took a, took a single shot. So I'm hoping it's picking enough up that I can just in Lightroom just, ex, just accentuate those highlights with the brush, as they say. What a magical morning. What a magical morning. Wasn't expecting this when I woke up. <laughs> Tell you what, big plug for this app though, clear outside. If, if, if you're looking for a weather app, this thing is absolutely bang on. All four days I've been here, this thing has absolutely predicted it, admittedly. Yesterday was a little bit late predicting it, but it did predict it. So anyway, let's see what let's see what this throws up. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm absolutely freezing. I'm glad I stuck around. It's uh, it must be minus two. You know, it's April. <laughs> well, this is Cumbria's best kept secret. Millen on the west coast at the old pier. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely magnificent. I hope the images have come out and that you like the images. If you do, you like the content, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, you get all my future content moving forward. Hopefully, I'm going to get up here a bit more in the summer and uh, in the spring. So, but until next time. Gotta get warmed up. <laughs> I'll see you around. Wow. Superb.